Welcome or welcome back to the Electric Vibe. My name is Kurt Hoffman, and my co-host, who usually goes by the Electric Man, is going to take a time out today. My co-host is J. David Silva. J. Uh, this is a different type of episode than we have uh, been used to doing. Uh, this is a very serious uh, cause. Uh, this is something that actually hits home personally to you in, in your community there in, in the greater Connecticut area. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what uh, we are uh, here for today, please? Sure. You know, Kurt, I don't think that there are many people um, who weren't affected or aren't aware of the tragedy that occurred at Sandy Hook in December of 2012, and uh, none more so than the families that were affected and lost loved ones in that tragedy. Um and whereas that tragedy was an unspeakable horror, years later, what's come out of it in a variety of ways is hope. And one of those areas of hope is the Vicki Soto Memorial Fund. And that's a nonprofit organization that was started after school teacher Vicki Soto tragically lost her life in the Sandy Hook school shooting. Uh, in Vicki's memory, the Vicki Soto Memorial Fund was started. Now, the memorial, the memorial Fund is supported annually by the Vicky Soto 5K. And since its inception, the Vicky Soto 5K has hosted thousands of participants from across the country. It's raised money to support high school seniors who want to pursue a career in education. It's uh, supported various literacy programs and other community programs that have really, really um, shown the care, the compassion that Vicky emanated in her life. Uh, this year's 5K is the 12th annual Vicky Soto 5K. And here to tell us about the event and tell us more about the Memorial Fund and the legacy of Vicky Soto is Vicky's sister, Jillian Marino, who we are happy to welcome to the Electric Vibe podcast. Jillian, thank you for coming to the Electric Vibe podcast. How do we find you today? Good. Thank you guys so much for having me. And talking about our 5k coming up it, it, it is our pleasure and so Jillian we know that this is the 12th annual um Vicky Soto 5k um I know there's a lot of preparation and a lot of excitement around this event can you take us through a little bit about what's been happening leading up to uh November 2nd so a lot is going on so the big difference about our 5K versus most 5Ks is this is a family 5K. So it is run completely by Vicky's family, Vicky's friends. Vicky's relatives are the people who put this together. We are the ones answering the emails. When you show up to pick up your bibs, it's Vicky's family who's passing everything out when it comes to the setup of everything. It's Vicky's core people. And even when it comes to running the race, it's Vicky's family who has put so much thought behind everything and reaching out to all these incredible volunteers and organizations. So it's been a lot of work. We are so lucky that we have such an awesome family and team that has dedicated themselves to helping with this 5K because we are all family, but we also volunteer our time. We are all full-time employees somewhere, but we love Vicky so much that it means everything to be there and support her with this. So, you know, right now we're getting ready for this Sunday is our first day of bib pickup. So we are getting all the bibs labeled, getting everybody's teacher pins put together. We are sending out all of our virtual runner stuff. So even if you signed up as a virtual runner, we are doing everything we can to make sure your shirts, your pins, your bibs are all sent out before November 2nd so that you are able to run wherever you are with us on the 2nd. So, uh, Jillian, I understand how the running culture works, especially when you're putting together as an independent team, you know, even with family members. Uh, it, it is a daunting task, to say the least. Where can people uh, pick up their pack? I'm sure this is on the website itself, but where can people pick up their packet information and can they sign up the day of? Yes, yeah, so definitely people can sign up the day of. They can even come down during our bid pickup. So we're doing bid pickup on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it's at our office in Stratford, which is 
2420 Main Street in Stratford, Connecticut. Ah. And you can always check the Vicky Soto 5K website for that information as well. And if you haven't registered, you can even come down to the office to when people are picking up bibs and register okay. that day. You can also register the day of the 5K as well. What are the pickup packet hours for those days? Yeah, so Sunday is 11 to 4. Okay. Monday is 1 to 7. Okay. Tuesday, 1 to 7. And Wednesday, also 1 to 7. Those are, those are good hours, actually. You know, just, we try just to after lunch break and just after rush hour, right? So, yeah. You know. Yes. Nice. Vicki uh, Vicky was special. You had mentioned something before we started recording, Jillian, where you said that Vicky liked everything over the top. Can you talk a little bit about that and how it relates to the 5K? So Vicky was the perfect daughter, the perfect best friend, perfect older sister, and everything for her had to be perfect, but also over the top. <laughs> so putting together a 5K, we wanted to honor her with her color. She loves flamingos and she loved the color green. So that's where the pink and green comes from. And making sure it's over the top, when we started this, our first year, our cousin, Jim Wiltsey, who is the person who helped us really get this 5K going the, our first year and has been a tremendous help over the years and has really helped turn this 5K into this incredible thing that it is. But our first year, I remember him saying his goal was to get 500 people registered and we were like, okay, we could do that. 500 is not that bad. In our first year, we had over a thousand people running. Wow. And now we're on our 12th year. And as of two days ago, we had over 2,700 runners registered. And that includes people all over the United States and country because we have people anywhere can sign up and become a virtual runner and they still receive a shirt, they receive their bib, and they can take part no matter where they are. So we are doing everything we can to make sure it's huge, which is part of the reason we're not in Stratford anymore, because like I said, Vicki liked everything over the top. So we had to find a bigger place and what better place than to have it in an arena with all these awesome lights and seeing her face oh, wow. everywhere. You know, if you drive down 95 by the arena right now, you'll see her billboard, which is like so oh. incredible to see my sister's face up there. <laughs> and then the day of to see all these people show up with her shirt on, with her name there, honoring and celebrating her is so awesome. But one of the other cool things is since this is such a community thing and we have been doing it for 12 years, being out in Stratford, or I live in Orange, and there's times I'm driving somewhere and I see people running and they have a Team Vicky shirt on. They have one oh, of wow. our race shirts on. Wow. And there is no better feeling as her sister than to see my sister's name on a shirt from someone wow. just running. And do they know I live over here? Probably not. But it's so cool to see that and see this community come together and honor my sister. Wow. That it's a little sign, you know, when you think about it, you know, that, that she's somewhere out there, you know, saying, hey, you know. Oh, she is definitely absolutely. up there and she's definitely like, yep, I want to see you guys try to top this. Like, <laughs> I'm still better than you. Vicky was the oldest out of three of us. So it went Vicky, myself, <laughs> and then we have a younger sister, Carly, and a younger brother, Matthew. And she's definitely making fun of us that she is still <laughs> the best and she's on top of everything. She's still our parents' favorite. And it's, <laughs> it's comical at this point. We've just accepted it that she will always win. Jillian, I have a question for you. Was, was Vicky actually a runner herself? Um, <laughs> Vicky was not. Um, Vicky loved the idea of running and had periods of time where she went to the gym and did things, but sure. she also loved to eat her cake and have ice cream and enjoy things. So she was not a runner, but we knew when she passed away, we wanted to have 
a foundation oh, for sure. my sister to honor her oh. and to give back to teachers. So we wanted to figure out how do we keep that alive? How do we make it where we continuously have money coming in that we are able to give back sure. to teachers and scholarships? And someone said, why not do a 5K? And none of us, even my cousin Jimmy, had no idea where to start. And yeah. somehow we started it. We knew we wanted it to be around Vicky's birthday, which is November 4th. Wow. And somehow we figured it out. And now we are 12 years into it. You're professional, you're professional runners at this point. You have 5K <laughs> organizers. It, it is a skill set that, you know... Um, a lot of people, when you're, I tried to run a 5K at the elementary school that I taught at. You know, my my spouse is a runner and uh, has done half marathons and full marathons, and it is not Jello Winston pudding. People think, oh, to put a 5K race together, you just add a cup of milk, put the powder in, and stir. It requires an entire team to put something like this together, and the the number of runners that you currently are are estimated to have. That's not that's not necessarily an easy thing. So my follow up question is: Do you still need volunteers to help out in any way, shape, or form? So, with a five k as big as it is, you would think, yeah, of course we do. But because our foundation has been around for so long, all of a lot of our scholarship winners who have won at the Vicky oh. Soto scholarships, they okay. come back. And this is part of their way of giving back to the foundation. And they volunteer to help out with the 5K and their families volunteer. So we actually have a ton of people who come in and help. And our local high schools, Stratford and Bunnell High School, their football team also comes out and they oh, wow. help us before the 5K and after the 5K with setting up our flamingos and cleanup. So Right now, we are all set with volunteers because of the huge community that we have that has wrapped themselves around our foundation and always want to help. But if somebody is looking to volunteer or anything, please reach out to us. Our email is teamvickysoto4 at gmail.com. And we'll be happy to see if there's something we can help you do so you can volunteer. Excellent. We'll have that information in the comments uh, on this episode below, so on YouTube. So we appreciate that. And it's 12 years of building community, it, you know, it, it, beyond having this as a de dedication for, for your late sister, this is something that has it, it engendered a, a building of community in these neighborhoods, you know, and it's a beautiful gesture. What better way to do that than, than, the way you're doing it right now so bravo to you and your and and, and the family and, and everybody putting this together it's wonderful it's beautiful thank you when we moved out of Stratford it was a hard decision because Stratford yeah. is our home yeah Vicky lived in Stratford when she passed and we lived there our whole lives and to make that decision was a very hard decision on our family yeah. because sure. Stratford has been so incredibly good to our family, our foundation, but we just got too big and we had to find something else. So sure. taking that leap to go to another town and having to build new relationships, because like you said before, there's a lot that goes in. You have to have the police department there. You have to have streets yeah. shut down. You have to oh, have EMS. That part. Yeah. There's so much oh, there. So I many elements. Get, yeah. So we had to get, the Bridgeport community involved and yep. also believe in this community event that we were asking to take over a portion of their town. And, yeah. you know, it's for several hours, yes. you know, not just an hour for several hours. And last year we ran into, I think it was the night before our 5k, they had ripped up all the roads that we were supposed to be using. <sighs> and, the night before we're like getting ready to set up and we're like, there's no, like, what are we going to do? And they were able to get a crew out like pretty much overnight to get everything taken care of. So our 5k shape. could still happen. And that community support is what Vicky was all about. Vicky was a family person, a community person. And to see people rally around 
we have this event, we have to do this, we need yeah. to pull it together yeah. and make sure this happens is something that Vicky would be so proud to see happen. I, I mean, that's, wow. And I want to kind of touch on something that we're talking about because the scope obviously has grown in, in, in the 12 years and you had a little yeah. more. So Jillian, what can people expect when they come out on November 2nd for this 5K? I mean, you know, some of the vendors that are going to be there, some of the, the things that you'll have, the activities that are going on, what, what, what can the public expect and take advantage of? I laugh because it's just, it's so much of everything. It is over the top. It, we have beer tents that will be there. We have tons of food vendors that will be there. We have someone coming and they will have a selfie station. And Vicki was a teacher. She was all about kids. So we every year do our best to make it as family friendly as possible. Sure. So having things for youth to do when they come there, you will also see tons of people dressed up. People come dressed up in their flamingo gear. They are in their teacher stuff. And you, one of the cool things to see, and my family, we stand at the sidelines at the front of the 5K and seeing everyone pass. And we have teachers that came out for the first year. And our first year, if you were a teacher, you got this green sash that said educator on it. And we still have teachers who show up every year with that sash mm -hmm. and they have a new pin because now wow. for educators we give out wow. pins so now they have 11 years worth of pins on their sash because their sash was for the first year huh. and it is such a cool thing to see and being vicky's sister and seeing educators honoring another educator is incredible seeing these young kids dress up as flamingos running this kid's fun run is no better feeling because Vicky was all about kids. So watching them run across the finish line yeah. is so cool. Seeing Vicky's nephews and niece at the finish line, passing out water to everybody honoring their yeah. aunt is incredible. And I think yeah. that's one of the things that I don't know if everyone realizes those little kids at the end of the finish line, those are Vicky's nephews and nieces. Those are her blood. That is her family that is going up to every person running and passing out waters. Those are her kids. Those are her nephews, her nieces. And it's incredible. It's incredible to see these people who have stood by my family for 12 years now, who have not forgotten who my sister is and the sacrifice that she made that day mm. and mm. to come out and not in a sad way in a happy way in a joyful way celebrate her where you know we know what happened in sandy hook was unimaginable it was mm. something nobody ever wants to think about happening but everyone who shows up there they're not there to feel sad they're there to feel happy and joyful and celebrate an incredible teacher and dress up like a flamingo, eat some great food, have a beer and Music. run and enjoy community spirit that we have. And that's everything that Vicki would ever want with her legacy. Spreading positivity in, in such a dark moment as as a form of response to that is 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 the most beautiful eloquent gesture you could possibly do you know i agree in in the intro i had said you know from this that you know unspeakable tragedy came hope yep. you know and you know in a variety of ways and obviously what the 5k represents and what the foundation represents um you know is is a testament to to vicky and to your family can you talk Jillian, about the foundation and the, the support that it gives to, to students, to educators, to the community? Yeah, so just like our 5K, Vicki's foundation is run completely by her family and friends. And we have a goal of every year to give out four scholarships to graduating seniors who are going into the education field. We give two to our local high school. So one will go to Bunnell, one will go to Stratford High, 
And then we do a Connecticut recipient and a national recipient. So it doesn't matter where someone lives, they are able to apply as long as they are going into the education field. And we have that scholarship that we give out. And one of the awesome things about our scholarship it is also renewable for four years while someone's in college. And with prices of things going up, school mm -hmm. is very expensive. Unfortunately, teachers do not get paid nearly enough for the work that they do. So this is just our way of giving back to teachers in a small way. We also have an office where people can come in, pick up their bids, but that office also serves as our book space. So we collect gently used books and new books and te we invite teachers to actually come and go through these books and take books for their classroom. Vicki oh, has been collecting books from a very young age. So I remember even in high school for Christmas, when people asked what she wanted, she would say books because she always knew she wanted to be a teacher. So when she became a teacher, she had this incredible library already because she was collecting books from such a young age. Mm -hmm. So we knew we wanted to do that for teachers. We wanted to have a place where, you know, I'm a mom, we buy books constantly and our kids grow out of them and having a place to bring these books where they get to go back and still have life and give back to a classroom because books are expensive. And like I said before, teachers don't get paid enough to stock their libraries. So to be able to have teachers come and take as many books as they want for their classroom is an incredible thing. We do that several times a year where we will do book drop-offs, where we invite anyone from the community to drop off books. And then we do our day where teachers can come, no questions asked, and they can go shopping for all the books that they want. Hmm. We also try to do things within the community, whether it is going on Donors Choose and looking at different classrooms and teachers who are asking for books for their classroom, we try our best to go in and surprise as many teachers as we can and buy out their donors choose list. And, you know, giving back to our schools, we have done book programs where we bought books for a whole entire school. We've given scholarships to different school districts to help buy English literacy programs, wow. all different types of things that was all about <laughs> who Vicki was and Education was everything. Books were everything to her. Giving back was everything to her. So that's what our foundation is about. Giving back to our community, giving back to teachers and students. Wow. Uh, I So <laughs> as if I, I, Jillian, before we re hit record button, I shared with you that, that this uh, particular episode hit home for me in two ways. One, I was a former music educator for, for many years in Maryland and up here in Pennsylvania for a short time. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough for what you do for teachers on that end. And I also, uh, in my high school years, went to Newtown, Connecticut, and also lived in, in Sandy Hook. So it's just the, those two connective tissues that led us three to be on this podcast episode together. Just It, it means the world to me that uh, I got to meet you, at least virtually, I told I told Jay and Jay we're gonna try to make this. Uh, I'm gonna try to be there in person next year. I I will make my best efforts to be there next year in person because I, I really your your cause is such a beautiful gesture. I I wish I got to know her in person, but I feel like I know her through you, and I really appreciate your your efforts that you and your family are, are doing to put this together for a twelfth time. Just phenomenal. Thank you, and you know. I wish more people got to meet Vicki because she truly is or was an incredible person. And, you know, she's my older sister. So I always have this love hate relationship with her because she's my older sister. Yep. But the light that she had, the joy she had in the classroom, like seeing, mm -hmm. like that was her purpose is to be in front of the classroom teaching kids and when we get to see all these people show up at the 5K, it's so incredible because it's like seeing Vicky 
in a different way. And each person who shows up is kind of like seeing my sister because they're all honoring her. They're all continuing her memory, her legacy. So it is so special. And I hope every person who shows up knows how much it means to our family that they take this time just to come. Whether it is because you're a runner and you enjoy doing 5Ks, it's because you're an educator, because you're a part of the Stratford community or the Sandy Hook community or Bridgeport community or even the Connecticut community. Sure. Whether you are a scholarship winner or you're just someone who saw it at a billboard and were like, you know, I'm going to check it out. You made that choice to show up and you hear about who Vicki is and that allows her memory to stay alive. It allows us to continue to give back because every person who shows up, you're purchasing a bib, you're purchasing a spectator wristband, you're purchasing Victim Vicky shirts and sweatshirts, mm -hmm. and all of that goes back into a classroom. And that is such an incredible thing to be a part of and to see. And Vicky would be so amazed by this. And, you know, I think about on the days when we have the 5K, whether it's raining, it is freezing out, it is sunny, and we're like, why mm -hmm. is it so hot? <laughs> it's Vicky's way of saying, just keeping everyone on your toes, making sure you guys know it can't be perfect all the time. But yet, even on days that it's pouring rain, we still have thousands of people who show up. And we've had a couple where it was raining and it didn't stop the runners from showing up for her. And that's that's what it's about. And this this is what also helps us heal. This is what helps us know that they're still good in this world because the community has continued to wrap their arms around my sister's foundation and show up for my sister and continue her legacy. And that helps us heal. You know, that that's so well said. And I want to just go back to something before is obviously having attended before and look, in full disclosure, obviously our families have known each other for 30 something years. So you and I, I've been going back for quite some time. Um, and the thing that I noticed is, you know, at the 5K particularly is the joy. You know, it, it, it's like you said, it's not about the sadness. It's about the the laughing and and the pain. I've, I saw some people, I haven't run it myself, thank goodness. But um, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> come in, you have your other role there, Jay. I do. I have my other role. That's right. I can, I can sell you know, t-shirts and hoodies and, you know, put a smile on somebody's face, I hope. But but that's the point. It, you know, I've noticed that the joy, you know, looking around the crowd and seeing people laughing and seeing people come together, there's that, that sense of community, that sense of, of camaraderie. And if anybody were to go to the Facebook pages, for instance, and all the pictures, everybody's smiling, everybody's there for, you know, the 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 cause, but the way that they all interact, you know, it's a wonderful thing. There's thousands of the pictures that are posted. And to your point, that that shows there is still good in this world. Yeah, you know, I think, especially now that Vicky's siblings have gotten older and her cousins, we are all very close. Vicky really was a family-oriented person. So all of us are very close to each other, our cousins and our siblings. And we all show up for her. And then we've now have this extended family because we have kids who've now joined and they're mm. talking about who Vicky is and they're continuing her legacy. And then they're making all these friends around at these five at the 5k where this isn't going to end with just us. We have these incredible kids that have been a part of this since day one that are going to take care of it as we get older and need to take our step back. So it's, it's incredible. It's incredible to be a part of. And, you know, like you said, Jay, you've been a part of our family my whole life and well into most of Vicky's life as well. And, you know, you have also always have honored Vicky and being there and asking me this week to take part in this shows also like, the commitment you've always had 
to our family and we could not thank your family enough. You guys, your whole family, you guys are our family. You're not just my babysitter's husband. You're my family. I appreciate that. And and now look, we brought Kurt in. Now Kurt's yes. a part of the family. Kurt's part of our family. Uh, We're gonna make sure he's here next year. He's not gonna yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll I will make sure I'm there. I, I you know, I, after I work in the retail industry, I'll need some reprieve after Halloween. Yeah. So I, I yes, that 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 would be lovely. I would love to come out. Yes, yeah. and then Jay can cook us some steaks. There we go. All right, we can barbecue. We can do steaks. We can do whatever. Right. Say say nothing but a word there, <laughs> Jillian. I wanted to ask something else too. You know and. What is the main thing that you've seen the difference, you know, obviously in a positive way from the first year until now with the 5K and with the, I, I mean, obviously there's the size and scope. I think the big thing that stands out is, is so Vicky was all about living her life to the fullest, laughing as hard as she can and loving as deep as possible. And no matter what year it is, no matter the weather outside, you see that in the people who show up. And so I think that's something that has definitely translated from our first year to the year that we're coming into is because you see the amount of love that people have for their team that they have registered. When you get to see you know, a group of teachers laughing and showing up and building their community. It's everything. And so seeing that grow every year as well has been really cool. Sure. I was going to say, Jay, uh, th this has been, this has been wonderful. Thank you for uh, allowing me to be part of this a uh, uh, very special episode of, of our podcast. This is uh, something that we have, this is an avenue that we have not yet, you know, had as a subject on, on our, on our podcast. And, you know, Jay and I really appreciate your time and coming out. And of course, you know, we're, we're going to plug this and support this in any way we can. And in the years to come. This is we will make this a regular episode, Jay. I, I think this is I think you knew that this was going to be a, a regular thing for the podcast, but let's make that a, a, an, an actual regular every year occurrence. So, Jillian, we're going to get to know each other and, and at least speak to each other once a year, if not twice, if I can actually come to the five Ks in, in person. We're going to get you at this five K. Oh, you know you so are. You know, know you that are. you're a runner. That you have to be there. I listen. I I um. You get a pass I, this year. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll give you your pass for this year, but next year you have to be there. No, as long as we get a photo op together at the selfie booth. Oh, we definitely can. Make okay, that. that's it. And Jay, we, we, we're going to make this happen. So these three squares on the on the video will be actually in person. All in one, we'll get a selfie together, and, and not just for that, but for, but of course for for Vicky, Jillian. Um, yeah. Sorry, and Jillian, can you just um tell the audience um the hours location and everything what we can what they can expect on november 2nd oh yes all right so for november 2nd gates will open at 7 a.m at the harford healthcare amphitheater which is at 500 broad street in bridgeport connecticut road closures will start at 7 30. So if you are planning on driving down, you are going to want to get there early. You are also able to take the train in and the train stop is right by the theater. So you can actually walk right there and it's not a far drive for you at all. Parking is also going to be free at the lot by the Anthem Theater as well. The Kids Fun Run is going to start at 9 a.m. and our 5K starts kickoff at 10 a.m. Excellent. Excellent. Jay, um, I, I, again, Jillian, thank you for being so much for your Jay. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this, uh, family and community. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled. I, I really, I truly am humbled. Uh, if you like and her, uh, like what you saw and heard today, folks, uh, 
you know, please like and subscribe below. More importantly, since this is a timely event, if you see this within the next couple of days in real time, today is October 24th, the in 2024, the race and the events and all that take place on Sunday, November 2nd, correct? Sunday, November Saturday. 2nd? Sat, sorry, excuse me. Saturday, November 2nd. I want to make sure I got that right. Saturday, November 2nd. And uh, everything starts at 7 a.m., but the road closures start at 6.30, is that right? 7.30. 7.30, 7 7 road closures, and okay. events start at, at 9. At 9. Okay, great. I just want to make sure we get all that in. Uh, and as we say, and I, Jay, I believe this is more than appropriate, the, the, my tagline is usually a, a rising tide lifts all boats. And so uh, we want from the Electric Vibe to thank Jillian Marino for her time today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Uh, we love you. And uh, I usually say that, you know, when the universe, my, my closing is when the universe knocks, uh, you have to answer that door. But today, I'm going to say in honor of Vicky, live, laugh, love. Peace. Peace.